Greetings, peace and blessings. Happy Thursday. I'm the Moon Mama, and today is the day that Jupiter governs. I am um, Mercury went into Virgo yesterday, and so I am feeling um, scattered. <laughs> scattered. It's like I feel like Mercury came into Virgo, and you know, like if you have a bag of rice you know a plastic bag that filled with rice or dried beans or something and i feel like mercury came into virgo and my bag just fell out on the floor and and my, all my energy is just scattered and i'm i'm in the process of really attempting to gather myself back um but today is a jupiter day like i said and i want to invite you to register for the jupiter and aquarius class jupiter and aquarius the course that i'm offering is called um, igniting your own will of fortune and because Aquarius energy is the energy of your blueprint like who you are made to be and one of the things that I'm seeing and beginning to really understand as this as the old reality begins to come undone now let me say this the old reality is fighting for its life it's not leaving easily you know um, but nature always wins so it's going to it's gonna lose <laughs> so it's it's already done like we're moving out of the dark ages and into a more uplifting light inspired way of being and so in that we also individually we're all shedding our old ways of being so for me personally i noticed that i'm shedding um like there's a thing that I feel like as women that I have seen in my women's circles all of my life, we sort of are driven towards love. Like whatever's going on in our lives is always about a relationship or love or a man or like all my conversations for years with all my girlfriends were about this dude and what he did or what he didn't do. And I want love and all of that sort of stuff. So in my mindset right now i'm shedding that way of thinking that women have been conditioned in to be pushed towards you know all the magazines what to do to get them to like you and if they, all that sort of stuff if you're a certain age per age range like i am you understand what i'm talking about so i'm working to shed that mindset of you know the need to be a wife or the need to have a partner or, or having my life be centered around romantic um experiences longings and yearnings i'm releasing that i'm beginning to let that go and so that's an energetic pattern that was in my psyche and now as i release it then that energy begins begins to get free so that i can then use my energy to do other things right so with this jupiter and aquarius thing you want to be able to access your power your genius your fortune you want to be able to access the thing that is uniquely you that you came here to do and it means that we have to shed old stuff it's almost like you know you have to repurpose your energy you have to repurpose your power and purpose it towards something that that can be more valuable in your life now than these old ways of being that are based in the western mindset that's the thing that's so most important to realize that the western mindset is dying and that mindset is about competition and scarcity and not having enough and separation and, and exclusion and like that's the that's the mindset of the western way of being and so if you can go through your life and see where you're doing that the the aquarius the jupiter and aquarius class will help you re let go of some of the like identify you have to identify it. the stuff is so subtle like it's so subtle to realize because everybody else is doing it you know what i mean it's like when i get on the phone with my girlfriends they're all talking about a man or their men or or what's going on in relationship or something like that that's just the way of it so as you begin to shed like maybe your conversation is always about money or not having enough of it or just, like whatever it is it's like shedding those 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 patterns so that you can access that energy to actually find your genius so that you can access your unique power to be true to who your divine blueprint would have you to be so that's the jupiter and aquarius class and jupiter today is at the um, 28th degree of a of aquarius and the 28th degree is love 
And the thing that I wanted to talk about this morning really was just how important it is for us to understand that as the Western mindset and systems and constructs begin to collapse, and what happens is they just don't work anymore. Like you see our medical system just is fumbling all the time. You know, things just age. It's just how it is. We don't have to make it because it's bad or because it's racist or because it's it's just over that's it you know what i mean we all expire on some level right so um as this is happening it is really significant to realize that our consciousness the universe is responding to our consciousness and what we deeply believe about the universe this american system or the western system has been a bit of a universe in and of itself and as it comes undone, you have to access your own power to create your own universe. And how you do that is through your consciousness. And your consciousness is your thoughts, your subconscious, your feelings. It is also your, um, your auric body, your emotional body. Your, um, it's also how you treat your body. It's, it's your ego, all of that. So all of those things. Now the question is, can you get them to work in tandem because usually these aspects work in opposite of one another you know what i mean it's like our higher self is completely at peace and easy and like you're good and then the ego is completely dissatisfied and you know always looking for something like can't rest and you know this is wrong and this is wrong and this is wrong you know and then your um your body might be having physical things going on with it and so the question is can you get everything going in the same direction can you get your higher self your spirit your body your ego <laughs> can you all get it going in the same direction and this is what i'm saying your consciousness is going to build your reality right so the universe is responding to what you believe and and to what you know so the most important thing for you to re that i see that we can do to support ourselves is align ourselves with natural cycles it is the easiest thing to do because it will regulate it will regulate your relationship to light it'll regulate your relationship to nature it'll regulate your relationship to the earth realm and it will give you the opportunity to see clearly where your gifts are what your talents are what you're really good at and then how you can forge a path of success not based on you know working hard and hustling but based upon this is what i'm here to do there's nothing else for me to do so i may as well do this and do it well and then the universe will meet you in that frequency the universe will absolutely fulfill the container that you have created that is your consciousness given or your consciousness committed in one direction so for me my consciousness is committed in one direction and that direction is that all things work for my highest, best, and good. That's my, that I am creating my life from all that is, and it all is serving me. That's my consciousness connection. That's my agreement. I believe that above all things, no matter what's going on in my life. If everything is falling apart and nothing is working, I believe that this is happening for my highest, best, and good, and it is exactly what I need to have happening right now. If I have something going on in my body that feels like a health thing, right? Instead of being scared, or, oh my God, I'm like, oh, what is my body trying to tell me right now? Because it's trying to give me some information. If I'm having an experience with somebody in my life that's really challenging, I'm like, oh, why did my psyche bring this experience to me right now? What is it that I need to discover? What are they showing me? If I'm having financial stuff going on, oh, what, what is it, where is it that I'm not um, anchored into my root chakra? Where is it that I'm feeling insecure and driving the feelings of insecurity that they're showing up in my life? Every agreement I have in my body, in my system, is towards one idea of consciousness. And that is that all things are working out to serve me and grow me and help me to be who I'm here to be. And that is my understanding so nothing everything in my life is touched by that mindset so you need to get to are capable of 
creating a like a mission, a belief system, a structure that you live by, a consciousness, and the universe will the universe will um, the universe will bless it. The un it's already blessing it. Whatever's going on in your life right now, the universe is saying, okay, yes to her. But what I'm saying is because we are, our system is dying, our, our, our Western system is dying, it's almost like a, a bit of an energy rush, like a gold rush, like the gold rush in California, you know, that was in the 1800s. But it was like gold is there, so everybody rushed to go and find this new wealth, right? Consciousness is the new wealth. It's the new wealth. So it's important for you to take responsibility for your thoughts, your feelings, your relationships, everything going on in your life so that you can understand this is your system of wealth and how you use it will create your physical world reality because as above, so below. As within, so without. So today, the moon is in Libra. Libra moon is really the mirror. That's really what it is. It's like who are the people in your life and what are they mirroring to you? What are they showing you about yourself? So what you need to do is hear what you're saying about the people in your life. Hear what do you feel when you're with a certain person? What do you feel? Like yesterday I was with some friends and I just couldn't, I could not feel. I couldn't get into the feeling of it. I couldn't feel it. And so I was like, oh, I'm detached. And when I sat with it, I was like, oh, this is a new energy and my resonance just hasn't gotten to it yet i haven't it's like i'm in a new energetic environment and it's 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 unfamiliar so i just am sitting with it right so you're the people so that tells me that i'm in a new relationship with myself because i'm in a environment with people who are all new to me so i know that i am new to myself because the universe can only show you yourself all of the time all of the time it's not showing you anything else but a picture of yourself in any in any way that you have agreed to be right so today jupiter day jupiter is about blessings luck expansion faith and jupiter at the 28th degree of aquarius retrograde faith in your blueprint faith in your contract and your commitment to the divine the reason you're being here Sometimes I walk around the planet, or not, well, yes, I do walk, I do call it the planet, but sometimes I walk around earth or up to the store <laughs> or through a grocery store and I'll say to myself, okay, you put me here on this orb at this time on the planet. You put me here. What did you put me here for? What am I here for? What did I, why am I here? Like, I'm not just here to grocery shop and, you know, be friends and work and make money. What is the essence and the reason for this beingness? What is it? While I'm sitting here, I'm wondering, what am I up to? What am I up to? What do my ancestors call me for? What did the universe put me here for? What is it, right? So really get curious about your connection to source, your connection to nature. Your, why, what, what does this feel like to me? What does this mean to me? How could I do this? What is this about? why is this ask ask talk to yourself ask and you will be led into deeper understandings of the meaning and the purpose of your life ask and expect to find answers so with that everyone i love y'all thank y'all for all that y'all do for being here i love you very much and um okay <laughs> peace and blessings i'm about to go for a walk bye bye